Using keyframes in your edit gives you more control over specific elements within your edit and also allows you to be more creative of how they look. From transitions to audio, speed ramping to titles, the uses for keyframes are pretty vast and in this short tutorial we're going to get to know these keyframes a little better. So first up, what are keyframes? Well, keyframes are a point or points within a clip, either audio or video where something happens or changes. So for a simple example, here we want to change the audio levels of this music track to allow the interview to be the louder audio source. Pressing the P key brings up the pen tool, allowing you to select points within the clip where you want your keyframes to be. In this case, we're gonna make four individual keyframes to duck the audio. These outer two are almost like anchor points. These will not move, whereas the inner two will move when we click and drag the audio level bar here. The diagonal lines between the two inner points and the two outer points are the fade or graduation of the effect, like this. As well as audio, you can also use keyframes for visual aspects of your timeline too. So say you wanted to increase the size of this text. Once we have the text layer created, we can go over to our effects tab. And on the scale tab, we input two keyframes. The first is when it starts increasing, and the second is when it stops. Click this little arrow here and it'll take you to the first keyframe. Make sure you're happy with the size of the text. After that, hit the right arrow, which takes you to the next keyframe. Here, change the scale of the text to a size that you want to increase it to. Then play back your clip and you should see the changes. Keyframes can get a lot more complex than this, but this will give you the first insights into what they are and what you can do. I hope this tip is useful. To get more great tips, check out the rest of the series with Wex Photo Video.